Hey guys, and welcome to episode number one of my football manager, Blackburn Rovers career. Um, I've started this because uh, some of you may have known I had a FIFA one of Blackburn. Um, I don't know really what happened to that save file. It just restarted and it started from the start. And I felt like it'd be a bit too much hassle to do the same thing over and over again. So I started a new one of these up. Um... Yeah, it was just a bit of a, a bit of a change because I felt like FIFA. We've literally done up to January, and I don't want to repeat that all over again. So uh, it was kind of hard because I only did one episode, but I recorded up to like episode four, almost episode five around there. But as you can see, Blackburn Rovers higher Ma. The eyes of the uh, eyes of football are being raised over the appointment of the 38 road. You want a little hint? I'm not actually 38, as you can tell by my voice, but apparently I'm on 13k a week for a like, championship club. That's a pretty decent. That's more than probably all the players. But as you can see, we're predicted to finish 12th. Uh, face rivals Burnley, obviously. Uh, director of football, John Crawford. Uh, media prediction 12. I want to get in the playoffs. I mean, it does say they reach playoffs, but it doesn't say you have to get promoted through the playoffs, but I don't think it's any surprise that I do want to get promoted, just like my FIFA one. I want to get promoted. Playoffs or automatic. Automatic just seems too unrealistic. Even though the squad that we currently have is very capable. You can see my deal does run out next season, so I feel like if we don't get promotion, I don't think I'll get a new deal, which is... Uh, I, don't, I mean, I don't want that, but uh, two seasons with this squad, it's very capable of getting promoted through the playoffs. So I don't think that should be too much of a challenge looking at it here. Got a quite, quite, quite good in a way. Uh, got a bit of experience at the back with Daniel Ayala, although got a lot of injuries. I think it's like five or six injuries at the start of this um uh, Save Bradley Dak being one of them doing his ACL. He won't be there. Well, we won't be able to see him on the pitch until March of, of April around that time. Jacob Davenport, very young. Bradley Johnson, he's not going to play a single game. Broughton Diaz, a very key player. And Hope shines because he might score like 20 goals, but I just really don't want to sell him if he does that because he could do really well in the Premier League also. And hopefully get us to the Premier League. But for £6 million, we could sell him for a very hefty fee. Just looking at all the clauses uh, we have from selling players. You know, Adam Armstrong, we get £2.5 million, I think, at the start of every year. 25% uh, selling free for Kearney. And uh, as well as Shane Duffy. But Kearney and Shane Duffy, I don't think they'll get sold for... Uh, even if they do, not for a high price whatsoever but um yeah looking at sam gallagher now um just gonna see see how he is compared to diaz pretty pretty balanced i think obviously diaz is younger by a few years and international with chile but um we're just gonna send mcbride on loan at sutton Provider's just cheap, uh, picked up a cheeky little injury. Got, um, what I've realised is uh, Blackburn have a very good uh, youth squad in the Premier League 2 and all that, and they've received a lot of loans for uh, all these people, uh, all these players, sorry. But um, we have reached our very first signing of the season. It is a loan for Nathan Patterson. Uh, maybe back up for Ryan Nyambe. Uh, the Rain, the Scotsman, signed for Everton just a few days ago in real life, but looks very good. It, very good. And we're not even paying that much on his wage. He's got a very uh, low wage, I believe. But yeah, I think that's a very good signing, if I do say so myself. Depth just being added to that right back uh, position. But now our media prediction uh, has went up by four places 
from just that calm passing sound and I think which is a uh, very good we do want to be around the uh you know fifth to like eighth ninth spot around the challenging for playoffs and if we don't get it we can rebound off it and get playoffs next season but if I'm being honest I do want to get playoffs just this season even though there are very I mean teams like Fulham Bournemouth West Brom we just they're the untouchables really we're just kind of battling for the see if there's any like a surprising teams that we'll see around the playoffs like a um a Petersburg I mean and they're not going to be well that's just an example as Thomas Kaminsky does pick up a injury for six well three to six weeks which does actually put him out of the uh the first two games of the season uh me checking on the calendar but look at all the injuries we've got honestly six players that are injured we, we've been a bit unlucky with injuries, and in real life, Rovers have. Um, me just calculating now, would it be, um, w- would he make the first game of the season? And the answer is no, he'd miss the Swansea game and the Sheffield United, uh, Wednesday game, sorry. So there I went searching for a new backup goalkeeper for Kaminsky, because I didn't think Piers was quite ready yet. And then I found Frank Fielding, ex-Rovers goalkeeper, on the free agents, I've got a few from mine, but he's, he's without a team. So I thought it would be rude not to. And he spent the um, last two years at Millwall in the Championship, which doesn't look too bad. He looks... um. He, he doesn't look that bad, to be honest. He's definitely better than Piers. I know Piers is very young, and uh, this guy's kind of getting up there a bit. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this guy could do a decent job for us those two games and be a good... Um, filler if Piers or um, Kaminsky got injured but Kaminsky is a very good goalkeeper and I'm not very uh, pleased to have him uh, missing the first two games of the season even though one will probably I don't think he was going to play in the cup anyway because he would like to rest the entire squad because you know the the championship is games every single week and it's quite um physically demanding uh, it's physically demanding league but he, d- he doesn't look that bad for a 32 year old that spent well, he was just released last or this season but he does look very good and here we have tyler mcglaw going to uh doncaster rovers for a season-long loan the kid was apparently faster than mbappe He's very fast centre back, but runs like a slug in real life. I'm just playing around, but uh, yeah, pleased to see him going out and get some game time. As when I saw that Dolan was injured, my because um, he's a very promising youngster. My heart was in my mouth that it would be a bad one, but it's just a little um, hiccup. There we are confirming the signing of thirty two, thirty three year old now, Frank Fielding returning to Blackburn Rovers. As you can see, we don't have any money. We had a hundred k to spend, and that is nothing. We didn't. I didn't really want to start selling players that we've already bought. Uh, that Mowbray's already built like a um, a very tough uh, core into the side, and uh, you know, I really couldn't, uh, because I I did believe that this squad was capable of playoffs already, or at least around it. You know. 8th, 7th, 6th. So this is how we will start off in our very first game of the season with um, Fielding in there. Uh, fullbacks will be Pickering and Ryan Ayambe. Ayala and Lenehan in the uh, defence. Buckley and Travis in the midfield. Rankin Costello and Tyrese Dolan in the wings. And Joe Rothwell will support Brayton Diaz as the lone striker. First game of the season against Swansea at home at Ewood Park, hoping for a good start and a win. Come on, you lose. And also, I'm not the best at football manager, so you will see a... 
my flaws as Diaz hits the post in the seventh minute of the first game of the season. Promising as we do have a free kick here. It's encouraging the team. Daryl Lenehan. Dolan straight at the keeper. Bit uh, bit scrappy there. But nice to see that we're creating some chances. Really getting stuck in. But yeah, I'm not the best at this game, and you can see that through my tactics if you actually like play this game full on. So that, don't try and correct me in the comments or anything, because I, I know I know I'm bad. Yeah, as half time is nil nil against Swansea, but we have shown uh, some promising chances. Uh, just encouraging the team now, trying to um, look at two. bit tired is Rothwell. That's all I can think of. Ranking Costello, like Kadra have a little bit of time. I'm thinking, yeah. We'll, we'll let Kadra have a little bit of time. The um, the the German youngster from um from a uh, Brighton. I don't know if you watch my um was the first episode of the Blackburn Rovers uh, career mode on FIFA. He actually scored the very first goal. I think it was a, he was in the Carabao Cup, not in the first game of the season. That was nil nil against Swansea. Will history repeat itself? Hopefully not, because I hope for a better start. As we do have a free kick. Kadra! I don't know what... Did that hit the bar? I think that hit the bar. As OFMB and Ayala did what he had to do. I, I respect that. Put a foot in rather than just watching him run past. Going to make some changes now as the team is getting very tired coming into the last 15 minutes of this game. But Buttersworth... On off for Joe Rothwell. Um, I think might as well put passing on the um, get some a uh, bit more energy in the defense there. With 15 minutes left. I am not thinking, uh, I'm, not, I'm not being it doesn't, it doesn't look likely we can say that we'll uh, walk out with more than a point. I say that. We might walk out with no points, but it's a good inception by Harry Pickering. Kadra, nice link up, Burton Diaz. Through on goal. Holds it up. Didn't didn't shoot. Gets one to the box. Dolan! The first goal of this football manager save is scored by Tyrese Dolan. What? It was a scrappy goal, let's be honest. I don't I don't know how the keeper didn't say that. I mean I think he got a hand on to it. It was worked up. Yeah, it hit the side netting, but very, very good. Could we get two? Ayala. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, you'd love to see it. <laughs> From the man that wasn't uh, even supposed to be playing this game. Kadra. Travis. Passing it around now. Patterson. We get a ball in. Diaz. Yes! 2-0. We switched that around in the last five minutes. Two goals, last five minutes. And that all started from the man I signed for zero pounds. Fielding <laughs> with that lovely header. Headed it out, then passing that pass. Very nice. Very nice. Very tidy finish. And that is the first game of the season. The result, 2-0 win against Swansea. A lot better than the FIFA the FIFA version, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Very happy uh, that we could uh, start off with a win. And Swansea could also be challenging us for the um, that playoff, those playoff spots. So, ooh, I mean, Harry Chapman is on loan at uh, Burton, I think, and uh, has picked up an injury, but we'll focus on that later. Pickering played really well in his debut against Swansea just then. Uh, I, d I thought he got an assist, but he definitely played a, a key part in both of those goals, I think. Maybe the first one a bit more, but I'm very, very pleased how that um, that got off. But uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one, whenever that might be. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff, in a bit.